Dubbed as the Rowdy One, the Spectral 125 is the latest addition to Canyon's mountain bike range. While it shares the same name, it's actually a very different bike to its bigger travel counterpart. But does it live up to its Rowdy credentials? We're going to find out in this video as this is the full review of the Canyon Spectral 125 CF8. At first glance, the Canyon Spectral 125 looks very similar to its longer travel cousin. But Canyon hasn't just bunged a short shock into that frame, as instead they have slimmed down every tube to save up to 100 grams against the other frame. What's also changed is that the kinematic has been tuned especially for the shorter travel. And the changes don't stop there because this bike only comes with 29 inch wheels. And that decision has been made so Canyon can make the full use of the bigger wheels known rollover to make this bike even more capable. So this frame benefits from a lot of the same frame features too. And that includes the replaceable pivot threads, the internal cable routing, and the geometry adjusting flip chip, which for this test it stayed firmly in its low position. One of my favourite things about this bike is that it gets a very similar spec to the full fat Spectral CFA, which in its own right is very respectable. So that means we've got the Fox 36 Performance Elite handling 140mm suspension at the front, and we've got a Fox Flow X Performance at the rear handling the 125mm suspension. As for the drivetrain, that comes from Shimano and the 12 speed XT group set, and then we've got four part XT brakes to go with that. Then this bike rolls on a pair of DT Swiss XM 1700 wheels and they're wrapped with a Maxxis Mini DHR2 at the front and my favourite tyre of Maxxis Dissector at the rear. Both of those come in 2.4 inch widths, Max Terra compounds and EXO casings. Then this whole build is built around a carbon fibre frame that will save back £4,400. So I've already touched on how Canyon has designed this bike to offer a very different riding experience to the full fire Spectral, and that description hits the nail right on the head. This bike is just as fast, composed and poised as the bigger bike, but it's much more agile, it's easier to pedal, and it's much more supported than the bigger bike. The Spectral 125 is a real credit to Canyon's triple phase suspension kinematic because it's super supple off the top, but under pedaling is almost motionless, making it super quick to pedal up the climbs. However, when things do get a little lumpy, the suspension is keen to open up and soak up all of those bumps. However, we can't give all the credit to the suspension kinematic because Canyon has been very clever with the tyre choice. So at the rear, there's the massive to set it and that's super fast rolling, but it's surprisingly grippy in a range of conditions. Now at the front, it's a little bit draggier, but we've got the Maxxis DHR2. That provides tons of front end grip, but it's also rather confident on the brakes. It's a comfy bike to pedal about too, as the seat tube angle is steep enough to place way over a good place over the pedals. And the extended reach gives plenty of room around the cockpit. When dropping into one of my favourite trails, the extended reach did take a little bit of getting used to. By no means a bad thing, it's actually rather good, and we'll get onto that a little bit later. But it just took a little bit of getting used to, but it didn't take long to leap over that hurdle. Once pointed downhill, the Spectral 125 was a lot more composed than I was expecting given its travel figures. It's definitely lively, but it's keen to soak up chunk and fill you with confidence, and that's also thanks to a super progressive geometry. It's hugely encouraging of throwing in a cheeky pedal stroke or two as well, thanks to that super supportive rear end. Combine that with pumping some terrain and this bike will get absolutely hauling. And this is where the Spectral 125 starts to step away from its bigger brother. Furthering that, it takes a more considered approach when tackling tech. Rocks and root gardens tend to look a little bit bigger on something with such little travel, so it takes a much more calculated approach which proves very useful. But the geometry summons up plenty of confidence and thanks to that newly lengthened reach, steep sections become even more welcoming because it offers up a ton of support for the front end. Bumping up the support is an excellent Fox 36. However, because the travel is much shorter, things do become a little uneasy, but that's all part of the Spectral 125's charm and it doesn't take long to master. So the bike's lightweight and super supportive suspension kinematic has got me finding little trail gaps that I've never seen on trails that I've come to know like the back of my hand. It's also really easy to shift line when you need to. It also likes to throw in a cheeky slide here or there, but after some time on the bike, those slides can become really predictable and a hell of a lot of fun. So moving on to the value, and the Spectra 125 has carved something of its own niche, as it comes with the travel figures often found on downcountry bikes, 
but with the kit and the geometry that's more reserved for long-legged trail bikes or even enduro bikes. But that's not to say that there aren't comparable bikes out there, as there's bikes such as the Nukeproof Reactor 290 Elite. That bike will set you back equally at £4,400, but that comes with an excellent drivetrain, a bit more travel, but a more conservative geometry. There's also the YT Iso Core 3, but in reality that is a very different bike. It gets 130mm travel at the front coming from a Fox 34, it gets very low profile tyres and it gets a more conservative geometry. That one will be a bit cheaper though at £4,300. There are very few bikes that spring to mind that follow a very similar ethos to this bike, but one of them is the Evil Following V3. It's also a 29er, but it gets 120mm travel, 460mm reach on a medium frame, a 67.5 degree head tube, and a 77 degree seat tube. The big kicker on that bike though, it will cost you £6,500 for the base model build. So there we have it, that is the full review of the Canyon Spectral 125 CF8. If you've enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe, where you'll also see Team ORCC ride Canyon bikes through their first ever fall race season. If you have a Canyon bike, feel free to leave us a comment in the section below to let us know what you think. Thanks very much for watching, and we'll see you in the next one.